Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5, 1994. Paul Orndorff and Paul Roma, pretty wonderful, defeat the Patriot and Marcus Bagwell to win the WCW World Tag Team titles. Number 4, 1989. The Soul Taker, the future Godfather, defeats Jerry Lawler for the USWA Unified Heavyweight title in Memphis, Tennessee, ending Lawler's second reign of 5,675. Number 3, 1988. Back to Jerry Lawler as Jerry Lawler defeats Kerry Von Erich in Memphis, Tennessee for the World Class Championship Wrestling Heavyweight title. This is his first reign at a 5,675,000 with that belt. Number 2, 1945. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch publishes an article noting that former sports writer Sam Mushnick will be acquiring a promoter's license for professional wrestling and boxing. Mushnick would go on to become one of the most successful promoters of all time and at one point was the nucleus of the National Wrestling Alliance. Number 1. 2000. Yokozuna passes away. He is a former two-time WWF World Heavyweight Champion, two-time WWF Tag Team Champion with Owen Hart, as well as the winner of the 1993 Royal Rumble. He is often considered the greatest big man of all time. And that's our list. Make sure to comment below what you feel was the number one moment for this day in pro wrestling history.